right, so given that I've accrued quite a uh, quite a collection of Apple chargers, it's uh, it's about uh, it's about time we we take a look at them. So out of these chargers, um, one of them is definitely fake. Uh, two of them are presumably original, and one of them is also I I really have no idea on on the last one. Um, so I'm going to show you guys all of them. I've numbered them, and I'm going to let you guys guess. And after I show all of them, I'm, I'm going to show you the list of of all that uh, all that I know. So, so the first one is a 12 watt Flextronics adapter. So this is not the latest generation, but it is quite up there. So it's the second to last one at the time of shooting this video. So this is 2017 November. Number two is a Flextronics 12 watt, um, also a Flextronics 12 watt adapter. Let's take a look at this one. And again, these are going to be a bit dirty and scuffed up, so most of these are from the flea market. One of them is from my iPad, as I mentioned. But yeah, just ignore the dirt marks and, and what have you. Number three is a uh, an older model, so this is a 10 watt Foxlink adapter. The fourth one is also a Foxlink 10 watt adapter.
and ignore this uh, this marking here. The last one is a Foxlink 5 watt adapter. So this is uh, this is an old uh, iPod USB adapter, actually. So here's the actual list of the correct answers, the answer sheet, if you may. Um, so the first one looks very much original, right? So the telltale marks of an original one, uh, this gray section, which I've insisted on. Uh, let me angle the light so it's a bit dimmer and further away. So this uh, gray section is very, very flat and uh, it's just a flat surface altogether, very little ridges and, I don't know, a very continuous surface, let's call it. Also, the knob is very flat. So it's matte and also quite, quite flat. It's also in there quite, quite well. Uh, the codes are also very faded on the originals. So this one is broken as you might have seen so but it does look exactly like an original one and it feels like one so I don't know I I would assume this is an original uh, what is it Flextronics that's somehow busted so this one makes absolutely no sound and produces no output when you plug it in so yeah um, what else yeah exactly so the code is very faded right so as you've uh, seen before you can barely make out the writing uh, the USBs are plastic. The second one is totally fake, right? So it says Company Inc. on the copyright. So they apparently don't are afraid of lawsuits. And they didn't even write Apple anywhere on this. So that is quite interesting. So they did write Foxlink, uh, Flextronics, but they didn't say Apple on it. And again, this one is the same brand, right? So is imitating the same brand and is also broken. It's the same as the original, so I don't know. They did um, they did a very good job, right? Let's just put it that way. So first of all, uh, you'll see the fit and finish is not quite up there. So yeah, you can see this this jack, this, the USB port is not that lined up. The the edges of the case over here. Also, it's a very good knockoff. Don't get me wrong, but it's not as good. Right, so it's good to see these side by side. Right, so you can see the, the clearance between the gray plastic and the white one isn't quite the same all around. It's not bad, but the knob is quite rounded and is very easy to pull out. I think I could even pull it out with my hand. Let's see. No, I can't. But it should take much force, so... It actually does take some force, right? So it's still not terrible, but it does come out quite easily. Um, what else? Uh, the writing is very much uh, not as elegant, let's, uh, let's say. So it's way more visible, it's way more pronounced. Let me try to shine the light in it, right? 
So you can see the original, you can barely make it out. Right, the original's on the right. You can barely make out the writing, barely make it out. And this one is very clear to see. And the codes are are different, but I don't know. I, I think those would differ though, from unit to unit. So let's plug this one back in. Uh, also, the gray plastic, right, is not that flat, as I mentioned earlier, right? You can see, again, the fake one is on the left, but it should be obvious. Alright, so see how wavy the plastic is on the left, and on the right it's quite shiny and, and flat. Alright, the third one is pretty much the same model as the one I have, so mine is the fourth one, right? It is the one that has the writing in the best condition. And it's exactly like mine. So I've tested the output of both and they behave exactly the same under load, the same voltages, the same everything. These are quite pesky chargers, so if you want to charge random stuff with them, they're not that good. So they'll they'll act pretty weirdly. So I thought this one was actually broken, but nah, the original one is also quite weird. But they will charge iPhones very fast, so keep that in mind. Eh, comparable to the USB-C solution that Apple wants to sell at the moment. Again, the uh, gray plastic is extremely flat and shiny. The knob is quite straight. Uh, the code is right not that bold, so fits the bill. This one does have the, um, the USB isn't that perfectly lined up, but the rest of the case is nicely lined up and it's a different brand so and given that it's a different brand they use this uh, metal um, metal encased USB jack uh, socket I keep saying jack tonight and yeah the writing is also quite quite not so pronounced as the fake one and yeah I've tried pulling at these and they they're really in there so we'll try to so this one being broken we will tear it down these two uh, this one unfortunately not so do not have the uh, legal tender to afford such teardowns um, this one's mine right and again I'm not gonna insist too much it is exactly the same as the uh, as the previous one as the third one that's actually it's show them side by side so four is on the left So the writing is one for one the same, I did check it. I did mark mine in the USB because I really don't want to mess it up just in case, right, I'm, I'm wrong and the three is actually fake. Right, the case on the, on the unknown one is maybe, maybe a bit more separated, but actually it looks worse on mine because it's not the same all the way around, all the way around. right, so mine gets quite here so that's not a particularly good good thing to look out for all right and the five is a piece of shit so the five is fox link uh, ipod five watts but this is terrible so this i actually plugged my mom's iphone in and it wouldn't charge right it would charge very slowly and it is the last time i plug a, i was pretty sure this was original right so i'm still 50 percent let's let's call it but the voltage spikes up to 5.5, 5.4 after floating around 3, so it really goes up and down not insanely fast, so you can catch it with a normal multimeter, but it is disastrous and I actually don't know if this is fake, I don't have that many of these around so I have a few other ones, but not at hand and I don't know if those are original, so this one we will tear down and we will find out if it's original or not anyway, so.